Hi, I'm Sides. Today I'm going to show you how you can produce in Logic Pro without playing any instruments. Let's jump into the DAW. Okay, so the main things you need in a song are keys, drums, bass, and some ear candy. That could include a guitar, a harp, a cello, bells, lots of things. And I'm going to show you these really cool tricks that Logic can do that will help you do these even if you can't play an instrument. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to add is a new track. So I'm just going to right click here, do new software track, and then I'm going to pick Alchemy. So this is a really cool synth. It's really easy. I'm going to go to keys and then I'm just going to go down to one of my favorites. I'm going to pick Bell's keys. I actually have a MIDI keyboard. You're not going to need a MIDI keyboard for this lesson. So let's just move this over. Let's just hear how it sounds. Perfect. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to MIDI effects, go to where it says chord trigger. And if you also press command K, you can open up these musical bell typing. So I can actually play out the chords on this keyboard. So let's say I pick F. <laughs> And something else that's really cool is that you can go over here to these presets and you can try out different voicings. So let's try out a few. Let's try out triads so you can see. Super cool. So you can try out a bunch of different ones. Let's see what else is there. Let's try jazz ballad left hand. So lots of cool things that you can do and you can try out. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to go into keyboard voicings and I'm going to do pop left hand, I think. So I'm going to play out something like this. And my advice to you is pick two to four chords to use throughout your song, especially when you're first getting started. So just pick two to four chords and come up with a cool rhythm that you can use for that. Also, when I go over here, I want to make sure I go down to where it says record MIDI to track because now it's going to, instead of just recording the one note I'm playing, it's going to record the whole chord out. The other thing I'm going to add is I'm going to add a shaker. So I'm going to go over to the loop, type in shaker, and now I'm just going to go down to this hip hop shaker, drag this in. And I'm just going to press Command R to repeat it. And now I'll just record in these notes. Now I'm just going to press Q to quantize. I'm going to make sure this all sounds correct. We don't need that one anymore, so let's listen. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna highlight them all and now I'm going to go over to function. I'm going to go to MIDI transform and I'm going to go to humanize. So this is going to randomize the velocity and the quantize just a little bit to make it sound a little bit more human. So select and operate. We're going to do it two times. <laughs> Cool. So we basically have our keyboard line. That's really cool. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the bass line. Select all the notes. So highlight one and press command A. Now we're going to do shift arrow key down. That's going to select just the bottom notes. Now we're going to press command C to copy. You can X out of here. Right click here. New software track. And now we're going to do right from the front command V to paste. And that is going to be our bass line. So we want to do our bass line in a lower octave. So what you can do is press shift option arrow key down to lower it in octave. And now we need to find a bass sound for this. So for this, I'm going to go into Sculptor. This is another stock Logic plugin. And I'm going to go here, go down to bass, go down to tight bass. Let's try this one first. Let's see how it sounds. And now we got to just try out a different stuff. So let's see. Let's try out sub bass. Okay, and I want to try something different with the bass, so I'm going to do Command A, and then I'm going to do Shift Backslash to make it extend like a forced legato, and let's hear how that sounds. Okay, and let's try to mess around with some of these notes. So something you can do with bass lines is you can change the octaves. So let's see if I lift some of them up an octave, how that will sound. So shift option arrow key up to raise an octave. And this might sound bad. I don't know. But the only way we'll know is if we try it. And sometimes we just maybe need to change the sound again. Okay, and I'm 
I'm actually going to layer that. I kind of like that sound, but I want to layer it with another bass, so I'm just going to do Command D to duplicate it, hold down Option, and then drag that to copy. And now let's find a different bass sound, and I'm going to try maybe the sub bass again to hold down a lower thing. Let's hear how they sound again. <laughs> Yeah, and I kind of like that sound together. And I'm going to also duplicate the keys, duplicate those, drag those down. And let's just try seeing what it sounds like if that's just an octave lower too. So I'm going to just do shift option arrow key down. Mm, no, I think it sounds too muddy. But I do want to add like another sound that's a little warmer. So I'm going to bring this back up and I'm going to find another piano sound to layer. I'm kind of feeling that so we're gonna keep that for now all right the next element is drums so let's try to add some drums so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do right click here and this time I'm gonna select new drummer track so this is the new drummer track let's check out the drummer so if you click over here you can use all of these different genres and then different drummers within the genre let's mess around with some of these and let's see how we like them so if you split up the drummer here so if, like if I split up here it's basically gonna end the phrase and now that will have a fill here another thing that's really cool about the drum is that it can follow the logic drummer is really smart and super intuitive so let's have it follow you can follow the sub bass or the aggressive bass plus I like it when it follows the bass so let's just hear how it sounds <laughs> Okay, I kind of like that. Let's hear some of the other ones. Let's try hip hop. I'm just so curious what that would sound like. Change drummer. Let's try boom bap. So all of these are kind of doing like a halftime vibe. I think for this song, it kind of needs like a rock feel. Like I'm feeling like very like 80s. Let's try Brit Rock. Let's see how it sounds. I'm kind of feeling that. I kind of like that. So then you can also do some more details. You can change the feel. So let's say I want to push the feel. you can do with that and I think it's pretty cool another thing that's really cool with the logic drummer so let's say you have you set up the markers right and you have an intro verse another verse pre-chorus a pre when we go here and we add it's gonna add based on the vibe so let me just add a chorus here what's really cool with the logic drummer is if you use arrangement tools so let's go into here add arrangement tools hover over here let's move this over let's say that all of this is the intro so now we add a verse now we add a chorus let's say this is the pre-chorus now let's say this is the chorus so now if we were to do the logic drummer it will actually play out different sections for you so check it out this is like the verse drum group And you can see it raise intensity because I think it thinks it's the pre-chorus. So that's pretty cool too. Okay, so the last thing I said we need finish building like the basics of the song is like some ear candy. Let me show you how you can do that without playing any instruments. We need to pull up our main bit and we know that this is G, C, sus4, G, A minor, C, G. So I think we're in the key of G and this is how we're going to find out. We're going to go here. We're going to do new software track. We can go into alchemy again and I'm just going to pick out one of my favorite bells. So that's gentle sign bells. And you can also use, if you don't have a MIDI controller by pressing command K, use this one, which I will use. We're just going to solo this and we're going to solo this. And now you can pretty much record in any notes you want. Just pick like three or four notes.
let's see if this works okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click this we're gonna plus command a and now we're gonna scale quantize so I think we are in a minor and if you don't know if, if you're in a minor or what key you're in you can just kind of try this thing and you can hear it and if it doesn't feel right you will know you're not in the right key so let's just try a minor pentatonic and let's hear if this sounds good with the chords <laughs> to time quantize it. sounds okay I like some of the notes so let's try to mess around with it while we're in here to just use our ears to hear something that sounds good I also think we should go up an octave I think this should be okay and let's just change one other thing we're just gonna move this up and you can press option arrow key up to So I'm just going to go option. Super easy. And basically all I use is this scale quantize and I just use my ear. So if you're not sure what key you're in, what you can try doing is, like I mentioned before, highlight these notes and it's going to say the key you're in here. And then you can pull up this website, which is called Music Theory Site. Go to Tools, go to Key Identifier, and you're just going to enter in each of the chords that you played and then it will tell you what key it is. And then you're just going to go and quantize it to that minor pentatonic scale. And most likely, most of those notes will sound good, and then you could adjust it to taste. So that's literally all I did. And now what I'm going to do again is just do quantize, and I'm going to go over to function again, and I'm going to humanize this again. Select and operate. Now let's see what we have. <laughs> else we can do is now we can kind of build up some arrangements so let's say for this one I just want the kick to play right so let's hear how it sounds Okay, and let's say we want to edit this drumming a little bit. So we could just do new software track. All I have to do is press option drag and it basically drags it and turns it into MIDI. So that's kind of cool if you want to change up the drummer. Let's add a drumming sound. Which one are we using? Manchester's drum kit, Manchester. And it's basically all there. So let's say I want to just kind of move these, change these around. I can just do option kick. Let's say I even want to change a lot of this, right? I just want kind of a four on the floor, so I just do option, drag, drag, and I'm just putting them on each quarter note, just for the start of the song, until the fill. Okay, so now, this is just a cool little bit of the arrangement. We're going to take out here... playing but I don't want this playing till the next bar so let's hear what we got so far you can start building a track without playing any instruments and obviously there's way other things that you can do which is messing around with samples so maybe I'll show that in a different video but this is how you can build a track without playing any instruments in Logic Pro using chord trigger copying and pasting the bass using scale quantize and the Logic Drummer thank you so much for watching I'll be posting a new video every Tuesday so please subscribe to my channel and comment any videos you'd like to see next week